Hey Warriors fans, I'm Scott Warris. It is a week 10 football preview with the head coach, Eric Tresky. Season goes fast. We always say that and it, it does. always does. Yes. It really, does it go as fast for, for the coaches as yeah, it does for uh, those of us on the outside? It's both a sprint and a marathon, if yeah. that makes any sense. Yeah, and when you get to the end, you're amazed at how fast mm -hmm. it's gone. And especially when it's a fun group. We've had a good group, good guys to work with, guys that want to get better every day. And thankful. Well, yeah, I was one of the things I wanted to ask, kind of, as we just kind of take a little reflection for just a moment. The characteristics of this team, this 2023 team, how will you remember them with a game to go? Yeah. Um, well, this, this group, this group of seniors, uh, first group that I, I had the pleasure of recruiting, um, which is, is really special. Um, and we did it through COVID, no less. So um, the amount of hurdles that those guys have overcome, you know, brand new head coach, brand new culture that we were trying to infuse, uh, kind of building on what, what Coach Miller had, had already built, which was very special, um, but doing it in a different way. Um, and those guys have been just unbelievable in helping us um, really live that out. Um, you know, being a team that shows love by our actions on a daily basis. And um, that's how I remember this team, as this group of seniors, they were, they were really the first ones where it was, it was truly player led. It didn't have to come from us. And um, that's, that's when you know you got something special. Mm -hmm. What's the message, as we broaden it out for just a second, to the team mm -hmm. as a whole as you get ready for the game tomorrow, 1 o'clock against Concordia University Chicago at Robbie? Uh, what has been the message this week? Do you lean into the theme of Senior Day and, and, and uh, you know, responsibility to one another and send these guys out on a high note? I think, so, you know, to some degree, uh, but I also, you know, I'm, I'm pretty lame in that. Like, I, I don't want to <laughs> waver on what's, what's most important. Like, you know, I, I think every game, every opportunity that we have to be together as a team or to be able to play, you know, compete or even practice for that matter, those are gifts. Those are blessings that you can't take for granted. And um, this is one more chance, one more chance to compete as a, as a unit, one more chance to show who we're capable of being. Um, and, and we've got to soak it up. Life, life goes pretty fast. These seniors, all, all, they all said yesterday we did our senior walk and all the traditions that we can talk about, but they're all like, I can't believe it's our turn. I can't believe this is it. And um, so because of that, my encouragement to the whole team is like, hey, just soak it up while you have it because it's, it's, uh, it's a special thing. You know, and, and that is something unique, and I say this in college sports, every sport, Every year is unique unto itself. I mean, I think fans think, well, gosh, the kid is there for four years, probably four years. So there's always holdover. And so you don't get the change you do at the professional ranks. But in reality, every year, the circumstances, the players who are there, who aren't, every year is unique unto itself. Really. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, lots of changes. Um, I think especially... Especially now, you're seeing college sports change dramatically with transfer portals and all these different um, choices that students make. Um, the the dynamics of a team can shift quickly. You know, it, it, for the for the better or for the worse. You know, we'll use uh, one of our captains as an example. Brandon Ansek wasn't even a part of our program last fall, and and here he is now being a tremendous leader. Um, stuff like that. You know, Bryce Barbian, you know, our, our yeah. starting quarterback wasn't wasn't on our team last fall, so. That, there's a lot of things that can change quickly, and, and so you got to um, appreciate you know the guys that you have and the opportunity you have to be with each other. I don't know that we've talked about the the evolution of college athletics, and you feel it certainly to some degree at D three, not uh, not as much as D one, obviously. Where are you on the continuum of the transfer portal? If I could put you on the spot, and and, and player mobility and things like that. I mean, it wasn't long ago you were a player, and yep. is it a good thing? Is it, is, it, is it harmful to the sport? Where are you in that overall debate? Um, I think it's, it was something that was intended for good that's been abused. Mm -hmm. And that's what tends to happen, unfortunately, is, is there are situations where it is for the individual's best interest to, to move to another institution. Maybe it's personal or family reasons. Often, you know, at our level especially, you know, the Division three level, our guys, they don't get paid to play. Mm -hmm. They, they, they're, um, they're doing everything they can to make ends meet. And so sometimes you have financial needs or family needs, health issues with parents or, you know, all these sorts of things that would necessitate a move. Um, and then there's the handful of times where, you know, maybe you come in and you're behind a guy that, you know, you're a good football player, but you're behind a guy that's an all-conference player for three years and you just know. And so there's, 
there's some of those dynamics that I can respect. The sad thing is that I think the, the counter to it is that it, it doesn't teach you the lessons that I think sports are designed to teach you. And that's, that's working while you wait. That's being team oriented. That's being patient in the process. There's, you know, sports are, are, are meant to be a laboratory for life, right? Where you learn big picture lessons at a very small um, penalty, yeah. right? Um, losing a game is much worse, you know, much smaller than losing your job, you know, when your family's counting on you or any of those things. You learn those those skills now, and um, the transfer portal, unfortunately, so sometimes kids don't learn that lesson. Yeah. They, they're jumping ship um, and missing out. So yeah, sometimes you have to just kind of fight and work through some of the adversity, and and uh, and I think one of the things too, if I could editorialize for just a moment, is a lot of these changes have happened, and and now the NCAA and other governing bodies are trying to put some guardrails on it. Well, the horse is already out of the barn, as the phrase is. It's yeah. tough to kind of put it's the genie to... back in the bottle if I can use two you for There we go. There we go. Yeah, it is, I mean, it is hard. You know, it is hard. And, um, and yet, like, I still feel for student athletes. We've yeah. talked about recruiting in the past. Yeah. You know, the, the, you're seeing, you know, at the Division three level, there's no – there's no scholarships, but but what we have seen is that there's there's programs that are really um, not being transparent with student athletes, programs that are bringing in 80 to 90 freshmen in their class. And so, would you fault a freshman in one of those situations that hey, I've had a kid tell me, coach, I was one of 20 freshmen offensive line on my team, not total, just freshmen. And so, when you talk to a student athlete there, you're like, okay, I can understand why you might want to move on. So it's it's case by case, um, and so we're, we're definitely open to it within our program. Um, but I also say, like, we, we still believe the best way to build a program is, is to develop your own mm -hmm. um, and to recruit guys that are great fits from the jump. So, Well, you'll have 13 seniors honored before kickoff on Saturday, uh, guys who certainly fit this program very well. You alluded to the the walk or the senior walk yep. as uh, has been tradition here. I don't know, maybe since the beginning. You can tell me the history of it all. Can you kind of tell the folks what that's about and maybe some of the other little things behind the scenes to honor these, in this case, 13 young men? Yeah, so I'll try to take you to the beginning of the year. We do a few things to honor our seniors. The first thing is we do a senior retreat. Mm -hmm. um, so before the, the, the year starts, we've talked about it on the show, but... We take the guys out um, and we do a couple unique different activities and we stay overnight at this retreat center and it's meant to be a, a time where we're able to enjoy one another, celebrate being a senior because that's difficult to do, uh, but also equip those guys, right? Because they're going to be leaders whether they want to be or not, they're going to be leaders by example. Everyone's going to see, hey, how do the seniors do it? Um, once we get to this week, it shifts to things that are obviously very much more outward um, you know, we, we've got senior plaques and gifts, and you're going to see the seniors get recognized on game day. Um, and then what you mentioned, our, our last practice of, of the year and of their career, um, we do a couple things. So one, we have player families. They're real tight-knit groups that we use throughout the year um, to help guys stay connected. Um, those guys pray over their seniors in their group. Um, I get a chance to thank the guys kind of one-on-one as their, their, their head coach and um, just let them know what they mean to me. And we pray together one last time. And then they go down. We have all the underclassmen just kind of line up along the sideline. Okay. And every senior gets a chance to say kind of their, their last goodbye. And, and the underclassmen can let them know how much they appreciate them. And um, it, we'd be lying if it said it doesn't, get, it doesn't get a little bit emotional. There's some tear. I may have had a tear or two yesterday. I won't, I won't, you'll, you'll have to – inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> you'll have to ask some of the seniors. But it's a, it's a special time. And um, – it's something we've done since I was a player here, and it hits you different. Um, you know, you're a freshman, you don't quite get it, and as you're a sophomore, it starts to see you start to make a little bit more sense. As a junior, you're like, holy cow, this guy's been by my side the last three years, and then when you're a senior, like all those guys yesterday, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's this is it. Mm -hmm. So, well, do you remember your senior? I'm, I know you do. I'm bald like a baby. What, yeah. I was gonna say, what do you remember <laughs> specifically about your last? practice when you made that walk from goal line to goal line I, I bawled like a baby I couldn't mm -hmm. believe it and my my journey was unique I had a moment in my my time I had to take a semester off um, and I didn't know if I'd have college football again you know it was uh, it was a lot of things in my life that were up in the air let alone college college in general or college sports so to make it to that senior year um, I remember looking you know coach Foss and coach mm -hmm. Choss and coach uh, 
Coach Miller right in the eye. I was bawling when I saw Coach Miller just thinking about, like, this is it and how appreciative I was, you know. And you sometimes forget it when you're in the midst of the journey, but when you get to the end, um, you realize how blessed you really are. Mm -hmm. Well, before we wrap this one up, uh, we should do a little justice to the matchup with uh, the Cougars of CUC. Give us a scouting report. As much as you'd like to share with the folks. Sure, sure. Uh, this is a program that's that's been building all year. They've gotten better as the weeks have gone on. A uh, young football team. Um, they present some challenges with their offense. They have a lot of window dressing, motions, Q run game. You're going to see um, a lot of unique scheme that challenges the defense. Um, and so you, there's... There's a reason they've popped, you know, some big, they've had a big day against the Concordia, Wisconsin, for mm -hmm. example, or they were able to get a win against Eureka. Um, they do some good things on offense, so credit to Coach um, Chase, on, the, on that's their, their offense coordinator. And then defensively, um, you know, they, they're definitely a, a team that's going to put pr some pressure in those, those third downs and goal lines. It, um, they'll bring some double edge and, and play some different versions of man and try to confuse you on the back end. Um, so... You know, making sure that we, we recognize those things is going to be big. And you know, we just want to see, hey, what, what can we do last time out? You know, how much growth have we had throughout the year? You know, and, and looking forward to it. All right. One last question Let's from the it. audience. Here we go. Uh, this one comes from Randy in Manitowoc. Or Manti. I know somebody from there. <laughs> I don't know if there was a connection to this question. Maybe we can figure that out off the air. Um, this is kind of senior related, okay. uh, senior day related. I asked you about your senior walk, your, your last practice. But what, yep. the question is, what do you remember most about senior day, your last game as a warrior? What can you tell us about that? We played Hope. Hope, uh, the Hope Flying College. Dutchman. Yes, the Flying Dutchman. They're a good program. Um, we, we fought them tough. I remember that. Like we actually played. We, we didn't have a great year, but we, we, we played that game tough. Probably one of the best individual plays I had in college was on that day. It was like my last catch, mm -hmm. and it was like I was in slow motion. Like I remember it was a uh, Y stick. Um, I was the, the stick man, caught a little option route, contested, shook a dude. I never, I'm not that good of a football player, but I had a couple open field moves, and so I like stiff armed a guy and trucked a dude. I remember diving into the pilot. Like it felt like, like I was playing Madden in slow motion. I've never really had that feeling in a game before. You, you, I remember studying it in like sports psych, like being in the zone and everything slows down. And for that one moment, my last game of my college career, I got a chance to experience it, and it was it was definitely one I'll, I'll always remember. Wow. Yeah. Is there a chance you call that play tomorrow? Actually, we got a version of it. It's okay. not the same. All right. But it's, it's in that same family of play. Okay. So don't be surprised if you see one of those uh, tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Warriors in Concordia, Chicago. The finale, Saturday, 1 o'clock at Robbie Stadium. Thanks, Eric. Thank you.